Knowledge is power. Make an impact by learning more. Call us right now for more help at 866-945-8070. Introduction to Dynalist, outlining your content. So, uh, you know, in the beginning when I started uh, creating content, I would just kind of do it on the fly. In fact, in the, in the very beginning, I would have an idea in my head and I would record the video and then I would write the content afterwards based on the video. Now I've got the opposite process. What I do is I write an outline and then I expand on the outline. And after having written a really well-organized, detailed post that's well-structured, I go and record the video and I found that makes a lot more sense to me because the thoughts are much better organized in my mind as far as what I want to say and do and cover in the video. So if we take a look at my screen, you'll see what I've started doing in Dynalist and I've actually made some changes even in the outlining process as recently as today because here's what happens and it's funny because a lot of people I don't think believe me at first when they tell me that they struggle to come up with ideas for creating content and I tell them, trust me, once you start creating something, once you've written your first post, it's like the floodgates open. And literally creating one piece of content gives rise or spawns other uh, pieces of content that are related. For example, as I was going through and creating this very outline for how to use Dynalist to outline your content, I started getting other ideas and started thinking of other features and things that are here that I wanted to cover. So what I did was I created this section here called For Next Time. This helps me stay focused, for example, when I'm doing a post like this that's introductory in nature, on just sticking to the basics and what I want to cover in an introduction. And now I've got a list of things I can cover the next time. Or for all I know, depending on the nature of it, you know, I can do each of these in a quick short post, just real quick. Here's how to do due dates in Dynalist, and here's how to use tags and so on. So I can go a lot of different ways with this. But now to show you Dynalist and how it actually works, And what you're seeing here, of course, is the outline after I've created it. What I started out with was maybe something that looks like this. And we're going to give you the overview. So on the left, you have your navigation, right? And you have basically two levels here. You have folders, and then within each folder, you have a document. And then, of course, once you have a document, you can create lists. So you have folders, documents, and then lists within those documents. So I have a folder here called Content. Within that, I created this document called How to Use Dynalist, the Making of a Video Blog Tutorial, right? And then here I came up with titles, first of all. I said I wanted to see, you know, what I might use as a title. And I ultimately came up with this, Introduction to Dynalist, Outlining Your Content, right? Now, so this is going to become my title. Then I started creating the outline. Now, how did I do that? Let's go to a blank document. And so I'm just going to go here. I right-click the content folder. I'll say new document, and we'll call it uh, new outline, right? Okay, and then once I click on that, I've got the structure here, and I can start creating my bullet points. Level 1, level 2, indent with the tab key, right? Level 3, and so on. And so creating outline is as simple as that. As you can see, I can hit the Enter key once I go to the next line to back up. And so that's how I can start building an outline. Very easy to do. And then any one of these levels, any one of these list items can be drilled into, almost like it becomes its own separate document. So I can click zoom in, and that way I can focus just on level three. And notice I've got my sort of breadcrumb outline here. So that's a very quick look at how to begin creating the list. So going back to this overview, you've got your folders, you've got your documents. Let's look at how to expand and collapse. And this obviously is going to lend itself better when I show it, show it to you using you know, a, a well, you know, uh, an outline like this as opposed to a blank. So if I go to the very top level, I can click the menu and choose Collapse All. And notice what it does. Of course, it collapses it all, so all I'm looking at are the, um, the top level of everything that's in here. Now I can do that within each of these. I can go to titles and say expand all, and of course it only expands what's in titles. If I go up here and say, you know, once anything's expanded, the only choice is to collapse. So I do it once and then I do it again to expand everything. So that's expanding and collapsing. You know, again, some of the basics of organizing your folders, documents, and lists. Now let's say I want to move a document or a list from one folder to another. That's easy. So I take this test document, I want it under content, just click and drag. Right? Really easy to do. Getting back to our outline, 
now let's talk about navigating and formatting your list. First of all, you can see as I click here, it kind of resets. You can put a double asterisk around something to make it bold, or you can just highlight it and press Control B, which is what I did. Control B will create that for you, and then when you click away, it you know sort of renders the formatting the way you wanted it to. And I can do Control B again to get rid of it. So indenting we've already seen. I can hit the Tab key on something like this to indent it and then shift tab out dents it or unindents it as they like to call it, right? So that's the way you can quickly, you know, create more structure on your outline or whatever it is that you happen to be using this for. All right, and let's say we want, instead of these bullet points, we want them to be numbers. Simple, click and drag and highlight the range. And actually, I think you go up to this one and you, you choose, click the menu and you choose number children. And so then all of its children, so to speak, get numbered instead of bulleted, if you go back here, so you don't need to highlight it, just go to the parent level, go back here and you can change it by clicking stop numbering children, right? So that's how you can, you know, some people might like, but might prefer to see it, you know, with numbers as opposed to just bullet points. And if I want to reorder my list items, I can click the bullet point on here and just drag it up, right? So I can make this the first thing, or I can click and drag it back down to bring it back to being the last thing. Next, and real quick, we're going to take a look at what this all looks like in the mobile app. That's another reason I love Dynalist. It has a great mobile app, so uh, stay tuned. Okay, so here's Dynalist mobile app, and you'll find that it works really well. The experience is very similar to what you experience on the uh, desktop. Well, it's not even the desktop app. It's the browser app. They actually have a desktop app that you can get as well. So I'm going to tap my hamburger menu at the very top left here, and you'll see I've got all the same stuff, of course. And you know, this is again the beauty of using cloud-based technology. Once I've done something on the web, it's going to be here pretty much immediately. And so here's my outline, right? And I can tap on something like this and edit it, obviously. I can, you know, tap out of it to, or, or tap on, you know, one of the components to get into its details. Uh, again, really easy if I tap uh, and hold, I believe. Um, actually, down below, I have my tools here. So I have my indent and outdent. So if I uh, tap over there, and let's go back up one level, and I just want that, I should be able to tap outdent and indent to, uh, to do that. And it did. It outdented it, and then it kind of took me out of it. So there I am, and now I want to go back to indenting, right? And that moves it back in. Um, that and, and so these are just some of the basics and again I'm not that great with the mobile app I haven't used it a whole lot yet but I wanted you to just get the sense at least very quickly that it works it has all the same options that you have in the browser app as I'm sure you would in the desktop app down on the right you actually have your calendar thing so you can set due dates uh, setting due dates in the web app is actually a little different it's a little less obvious actually let's go back out here and go into the main thing and I can tap up there there and uh, back to my outline. So again, anything you can do on the web app, you can do on the mobile. Very, very easy to do. And that's about it. Of course, we'll have more videos that, are, that go deeper into this kind of stuff. But I wanted to make sure you got to look at the mobile app because that's key for a lot of these things. And where this becomes really important for me, especially when we're talking about developing outlines for content, or for that matter, you just have a fleeting thought while you're sitting waiting somewhere then you want to have something like this that you can whip out quick on the draw. You can start writing up your outline for your next blog post. Then you can go home and write it and record it.